Good evening and welcome to Shiloh Baptist Church of Landover. We thank you for joining us for our midweek service. So this service is just as dynamic as our Sunday worship experience, but we know that sometimes we need a little mm to help get us through the rest of the week. So we thank you again for joining us. I can tell you right now that there is going to be a mighty and preach word from one of our ministers of the gospel. So you are in the right place. Now, we are going to have offering. Please stand for the consecration of our tithes and offering, followed by all things come of thee, O Lord. Dear Father, may thy love amount toward us as we now bring to thine altar this our gifts. Help us that we may not give our money as a necessity, nor grudgingly, knowing that God loves a cheerful giver. We ask thy blessings in Jesus' name. Amen. Now, you can view the four ways of giving on the screen. You can text GIVE to 301-321-8801. You can also go to our website at shilohbc.org forward slash GIVE. You can use the F1 Go app or you can stop by and drop off your tithes and offerings at the church. If you have any questions about your giving, you can email contributions at shilohbc.org. Now, I'm gonna step out the way to allow the preacher of the hour to come through with the word. So up next, we will have a musical selection followed by the preach word from one of our very own ministers of the gospel. Praise the Lord. God is good and he is worthy to be praised. Worthy to be praised. Give an honor to God this evening. To my pastor, Pastor B. Lewis Collington, to the ministers, to the officers, and to all the members and friends of Shiloh Baptist Church. It is good to be in the house of the Lord one more time, thank you, Pastor Collington, for allowing me to stand behind this sacred desk this evening. Oh, praise the Lord. Our scripture tonight will be taken from Mark chapter 11, verse 20 to 24. But first, let's offer up a word of prayer. Oh, most holy and gracious Father, 
thank you for this day. Thank you for this opportunity, O oh Heavenly Father. Thank you for allowing me to share your word with your people. Now, Lord, let your people hear what you have to say. Bless them in a special manner. In the name of Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen and amen. Again, the scripture is taken from Mark chapter 11, verse 20 to 24. And it reads, And in the morning as they passed by, they saw the fig tree dried up from the roots. And Peter, calling to remember, said unto him, Master, behold, the fig tree which thou cursest is withered away. And Jesus answered, said unto him, Have faith in God. For verily I say unto you that whosoever shall say unto this mountain, Be thou removed, and be thou cast into the sea, and shall not doubt in his heart, but shall believe that those things which he shall say shall come to pass. He shall have whatsoever he saith. Therefore, I say unto you, what things soever you desire when you pray, believe that you receive them and you shall have them. The Gospel of Mark focuses its attention on the last years of Jesus' life, his burial, and his resurrection. The very first chapter of Mark announces the arrival of God's kingdom when it says in verse 3, the voice of one crying in the wilderness, prepare ye the way of the Lord, make his path straight. And right away, straightway, Jesus began to express the urgency of his journey to the cross. He had a lot to say, a lot to do, places to go in such a short period of time. He said in Mark, Chapter 1, verse 15, the time is fulfilled and the kingdom of God is at hand. Repent ye and believe the gospel. In this short time, he preached, he taught, he healed, he delivered, and promised through illustrations, parables, miracles, and proclamation that he is the Son of God. And we must believe that all authority in heaven and on earth has been given to him. The text today focuses on one of Jesus' teaching found in the book of Mark. Mark 11 verses uh, 20 to 24 where he proclaimed that when we believe with confidence we shall receive. But first, first you gotta believe in him. And you can do all things, things through him that strengthens you when you believe. You can do anything you have been called to do. Isaiah said, even we can soar on wings like eagles, run and not grow weary and walk and not faint. All because we believe. My sermon tonight is, I believe I can fly. I believe I can fly. And my three points are, number one, see it for yourself. See it for yourself. Point number two, believe that you can do it. And point number three, go for it. Go for it, my sisters and brothers, go for it. Point number one, my grandson used to, who lived in Virginia would visit us every summer when he was a child. And one year he came and in his hand was clutched a movie that he loved so much. The movie was Space Jam starring Michael Jordan. My daughter had warned us that he was fascinated with this movie. In the movie we see Michael Jordan flying through the air slapping that basketball in the hoop. So for hours, we would sit with my grandson and watch this movie. And he would flip it back and forth and back and forth to his favorite part. 
He loved that movie. And children all over the world wanted to fly like Michael Jordan. And many believed that they could fly like Michael Jordan. See, they, 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 could, they physically could, could see him putting that basketball in that hoop. So that's what they wanted to do. They saw him, themselves moving beyond where they were. The day before our text began, in Mark 11, chapter 12 through 14, we find Jesus coming from Bethany. And he had cursed a tree, a fig tree. He cursed the fig tree that had not yet produced figs. He was teaching the disciples the destruction to the power of faith and prayer. But at this time, the disciples, praise be to God, missed the point of the miracle because they didn't physically see the product of Jesus' message. It wasn't until the next day where this text began, Mark 11, verse 20 to 21 says, And in the morning, as they passed by, they saw the fig tree dried up from the root. And Peter, calling to remembrance, said unto him, Master, you know that fig tree that you cursed is withered away. In other words, he's saying, we see now what we didn't see yesterday. He says, Jesus says to the disciples, you too, praise be to God, can have the same power. Just as I cursed the tree and caused it to wither, so shall you be able to do bigger and better things than this. If you believe. In this movie, Face Jam, Michael Jordan helps the cartoon characters win a game against us, the superstars who were trying to enslave them. His message to them, his message to them was that they must first see it for themselves. They must see themselves winning that game. Your mind must conceive it, he says. Your heart has to believe it. Then you can achieve it. Look beyond the size of the opponent. Look beyond the knowledge, hallelujah. Look beyond, my sisters and brothers, what someone else has and see yourself winning. See yourself as the superstar. Jesus delivers and teaches us the same message. These disciples had seen miracles over and over again. Lesson after lesson after lesson, yet they still allowing what they see, see, and feel, allowing their reasoning to direct their thoughts. In John chapter 14, verse 12, he said, Verily I say unto, verily, verily I say unto you, he that believeth on me, the work that I do, shall he do also and greater works than these shall he do. Not only will we physically move mountains, but we can just say to the mountain, and it shall be moved. As it was with Lazarus, we can raise the dead, we can heal the sick, and calm the raging sea. We can drive out demons, and as it was with Jericho, we can cause walls to fall. But saints, praise be to God, we have to see it and believe it. The Israelites didn't make it to the promised land because they couldn't conceive it. They couldn't conceive God's promise. 
You see, we make all kinds of decisions in our lifetime. And the most important factor is whether or not we seek the Lord's guidance in our choices and believe in what he says in such a way that we see, praise be to God, what we believe. There's a song that was written specifically for this film, and it says, I believe I can fly. And a part of the song said, if I can see it, then I can do it. If I can just believe it, praise be to God, and if I can do it, if I just believe it, see, praise be to God, see your healing. See your breakthrough. See your deliverance. And you know, and you know, your change is going to come if you believe it. And your change is going to come. You got to see going to college, my young friend. You got to see finding that job. You got to see retirement. You got to see financial blessings. If I can see it, then I can receive it. See yourself shallow running through that open door. Remember Thomas who didn't believe Jesus was alive? In John chapter 20, verse 29, Jesus said unto him, unto Thomas, because thou hast seen me, thou hast believed. Blessed are they that have not seen, and yet, praise be to God, have believed. Jesus says to us, you are blessed. I have blessed you, and you, and you. When you see yourself flying through that open door, you're blessed. Not only for the things you need, but he blesses you for the things you desire. Praise be to God. And you see yourself with that car. You see yourself with that, with that house. You see yourself, young people, with that new pair of tennis shoes you've been craving. You see yourself doing the things, the gifts that God has given you to do. Why? Because we prayed about it every night and day. Your right attitude will determine that moving aptitude and confidence and will keep it in the forefront of your mind. I believe, praise be to God, I believe I can fly. And nothing, nobody, nothing, I mean nothing can separate me from the love of Jesus. I can see things preparing me for the gift that God has given me. I can see it in my feet. Praise be to God, I can see it moving. I can feel it in my hands. Praise be to God. I can feel it all over me. It's in my hand, in my feet. I can claim it right now, right now. I believe I can fly. I can see it. I believe it. I believe I can fly. Point number two. The lyrics to the song, I believe I can fly, goes like this. I used to think that I could not go on. And life was nothing but an awful song. But now I know the meaning of true love. I'm leaning on the everlasting arm. See, I was on the verge of breaking down. Sometimes silence can seem so loud. There are miracles in life I must achieve. But first, I know it starts inside of me. Oh, if I can see it then I can do it. If I just believe it, there is nothing to it. Praise God. And the part of the song that most people sing is, I believe I can fly. I believe I can touch the sky. I think about it every night and day. 
spread my wings and I fly away. I believe I can soar. See me running through that open door. I believe I can fly. Jesus tells the disciples in verse 23 of this text, For verily, truly, I say to you, that whosoever shall say unto this mountain, Be thou removed, and be thou cast into the sea, and shall not doubt in his heart, but shall believe that those things which he saith shall come to pass, he or she shall have whatsoever he said. Thank you, Jesus. He said, you can conquer your fear if you just believe. When you wake up in the morning, tell yourself, praise be to God, thank you, Lord. I believe I can fly. Driving down that highway, say to yourself, thank you, Lord. I believe I can fly. Before you close your eyes at night, say, Lord, thank you. I believe I can fly. If you haven't said it before, today is a good day to say, Lord, I believe I can fly. Praise be to God. <clears throat> You have to say it, praise be to God. You have to say it, praise be to God. You have to say it, praise be to God. Because there are some naysayers, praise be to God, coming down the pipe. There are going to be some naysayers coming down the park, telling you that you can't do this, you can't do that. Satan is on his job, my sisters and brothers. He's trying to tell you that you can't do it. But Jesus said, if you believe in me, praise be to God, you can do anything. Matthew chapter 28, verse 20 says, he, uh, Jesus promises you that he'll never leave you or forsake you on this journey. Through the deep waters, he won't leave you. Through the fiery furnace, he won't leave you in your classroom for your test, young people, he won't leave you. He'll be with you always and forever, always working, always pursuing the lost, always restoring the broken, calming the anxious, comforting the lonely, helping the angry, encouraging the fearful and forgiving the guilty always 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 so what so what if those naysayers says you can't do this so what if they can't see your vision so what if your friends and your family don't understand what you're trying to do and on some occasions praise be to god they may be right when they say you can't move mountains. Praise be to God. But you had that talk with Jesus. Doesn't matter about what they said. You had that talk with Jesus. And you told him all about your trouble. And he said everything was going to be all right. Psalm 23 Verse 4 says, even, praise be to God, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I'll fear no evil, for you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. So instead of saying to yourself, I can't, say I can. Instead of saying I can't, say I will. Instead of saying I can't, say I shall. Praise be to God. The woman with the issue of blood believed. She said, I can. And she touched the hem of the garment, of Jesus' garment. The paralytic was healed by his faith because he said, I will. Praise be to God. Blind Bartimaeus was healed by the words, Your faith has made you whole because he said, 
I shall believe in Jesus Christ. Faith, my sisters and brothers, all Jesus asks you to do is simply believe. You see, the woman with the issue of blood, the paralytic, blind by the man, didn't physically fly, but I believe, hallelujah, when they were healed, I believe there was some excitement, hallelujah, in the room. I believe there was some love in the room, praise be to God. I believe there was some movement in the room, some swaying in the room, some shouting in the room, in the room. I believe in some running in the room. Thanks. Hallelujah. When Jesus healed, there should be some praise and some worshiping in the room. There should be some joy in the room. How do you thank him? How do you thank him? How do you thank him? Offer some praise. But Jesus says you cannot bear fruit unless we are dependent on him. My sisters and brothers, faith, faith is the belief in your heart that you can soar. One of the few certainties in life is that you will face challenges. There's no doubt about it. Joseph was in a mess after mess after mess, but he believed with each incident that God will bring him out. Even though he went through being hated by his brothers, sold into slavery, accused of sexual harassment, and thrown in jail, he never, never gave up. Instead, each time he saw himself flourishing, flying, he believed that the Lord did not leave him or forsake him. Do you believe that thing? Do you believe that God is with you always, even to the end of the earth? In the Gospel of Matthew, Jesus says, if we have faith the size of a mustard seed, praise be to God, we can move mountains. We can fly. You can succeed. David Schwartz said, Belie belief is the thermostat that regulates what we accomplish in life. You remember Patti LaBelle when she sang that song, Somewhere Over the Rainbow. Remember she was singing that song, Praise Be to God. When they came to the part that said, uh, how she would flap her arms like she was flying when she would say, I believe, pray, birds fly, birds fly over the rainbow. Praise be to God. She could see herself flying, praise be to God, flying over the rainbow. Why, oh why? Why, oh why, she said. Why, oh why can't I? We got to think about it every night and day. We got to spread our wings and we got to fly away. Praise be to God. I believe, you got to, I believe I can fly. I believe I can touch the sky. Fly, praise be to God. Fly, my sisters and brothers, fly over the rainbow. Point number three, go for it. A bird is sitting on the edge of a tree branch and his mother comes right up behind him. This is the bird. Now the human mother, praise be to God, would bring her child back from the edge of safety but not the mother bird. The mother bird, however, pushes, 
hallelujah, her child off the edge of the tree. The baby bird now has two options. One, he could spread his wings and fly, or he could fall to the ground. The mother knows that her child may very well die, but also realizes that in order for him to figure out how to fly, he must, put in a, must be put in a situation that calls for him to fly. My sisters and brothers, we all have dreams. You have dreams. You have dreams. You have dreams. We all have dreams. It's right in front of us. It's in full focus. You believe that you can do what you dream of, that you can do it. And you truly, truly believe that you can make it happen. So what's stopping you? What's stopping you? Go for it. Go for what you plan to do. Go for it. Don't let whatever you're going through hinder you. Don't get ready to take off and let your dream die. Don't let your dream lose its power. You may have doubts and fears, but don't give up on your dream. Think like that eagle who sits, hallelujah, in the tree and his eye moves from side to side, watching and waiting. And at the exact moment, he soars, praise be to God. He is said to go from almost stationary to 90 miles an hour in, uh, to die to catch his prey. Go for it. Jesus said in Mark 11, 24 of this text, for this reason, he said, I'm telling you, Whatever things you ask for in prayer, in accordance with God's will, believe, believe, believe with confidence and trust that you have received them and they will be given to you. In other words, it's there for you, right in front of you. Now soar, go for it. Jesus came that we might live a victorious life. Soar! No matter what comes your way, don't let your dream die. Soar! Don't let a year go by and say, I wish I had. Kathy Seligan said, you can't hit a home run unless you step up to the plate. You can't catch a fish unless you put your line in the water. You can't reach your goal if you don't try, soar, soar, I believe I can fly. First Peter chapter 4, verse 10 and 11 said, All believers have received at least one spiritual gift from God. Do not hoard them, but use them faithfully as stewards of God. Jesus said, in John chapter 10, verse 10, I came that you may have an abundant life. Soar! Soar above your circumstances. Soar! Praise be to God. Believe in God the Son. Believe in yourself. And then you will also be able to spread your wings and soar. So Shiloh, soar. Give God the glory, soar. Think about him every night and day, soar. I believe I can fly, soar. Praise be to God. God is good and greatly to be praised. God is good and greatly to be praised. God is good and greatly to be 
praise. Shallow soul. I believe I can fly. I believe I can touch the sky. Think about it. Every night, every new day, every night, spread your wings, fly away. I believe I can soar in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Let us pray. Oh, most heavenly and gracious Father, I thank you. I thank you again for this opportunity. I thank you, O oh Heavenly Father, for the word. I thank you, O oh Heavenly Father, and pray that your word did not return void. In the name of Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen and amen. Thank you for joining us for our midweek service. We pray the message you just heard will bless you in a mighty way. Please share our Shiloh Baptist Church YouTube channel link with all your family and friends so they can be blessed as well. Now, you have the opportunity to bring your tithes and offerings to the storehouse as God has asked faithful believers to do. Just go to shilohbc.org forward slash give or send a text to the number on the screen or you can mail your offering into the church or stop by the church to drop it off. Just remember, God loves a cheerful giver. Join us each Sunday at Shiloh for Sunday school at 9 a.m. and Sunday worship service at 10 a.m. We would love for you to join us in person. If that is not an option for you, you can participate virtually as well. Until we meet again, always be blessed.